This is a big package. Oh, my big red boots. This is my dream job. So yeah, I got home at around 3 a.m. This is wild. Like, this is actually crazy. <laughs> it's usually like high fashion brand events here in Tokyo. So I have to go to work now. That would be like millions of dollars. Good morning, Stan Stans. My name is Jan. Welcome to the world of extra. Oh my god. I literally just woke up. I just opened my eyes. It's currently 8 a.m. <laughs> and it's time to go back to bed. Good night. Good morning, mother. In this video, I just wanted to show you guys what a work day is for me. A lot of you guys follow me on Instagram, and you guys think I'm just having fun every single day. And I am. <laughs> if you guys are new here, my name is Stan. I'm a full-time content creator who lives in Japan. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. The very first thing I do when I wake up is be on my phone for an hour. I'm usually stuck in bed just checking all my socials, just checking all my messages, comments, how my videos are performing, all the numbers. I check everything in the morning. I check my emails. And honestly, as a full-time content creator, that is part of the job but i do get carried away i feel like that would only take like 20 minutes but i end up like scrolling on tiktok so that's another like 45 minutes and sh shut up oh i actually usually wake up at around 10 a.m today i'm really busy so i had to wake up a little bit earlier no scrolling on my phone today and usually the alarm doesn't wake me up the mailman wakes me up the doorbell usually rings at around 10 a.m i don't know the mailman is always just so early but i actually love it because i wouldn't wake up otherwise did I just come downstairs, place the camera, went back up, and then went back down the stairs for the aesthetic? Yes, yes I'm such a, such a YouTuber. I'm gonna sh take a shit, so I'm gonna show you guys everything I do today. It's gonna be such a fun day. I have so many things to work on. But I honestly love busy days, you know? This is my retainer cleaner. To keep them fresh and delicious. Do you guys make out with your retainers, or do you guys take them off to make out with people? <laughs> I'm thinking we should have two eggs. I'm gonna eat half of the avocado I got yesterday. Some bread. And honestly, that's it. Oh. I've actually been cooking every single day now. And I think after my redecorating my apartment video, I've just been loving staying at my place more and I don't feel the need to like go out to eat. I genuinely love being here, you know? I've also just been cooking a lot of healthy meals. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys know my obsession with pork chops and I am gonna cook pork chops for lunch, so you better stay. Cause I'm gonna show you guys my pork chop recipe, shut up. Let me just like, put her in there. Wait, we need to put some butter. I got this like pre-sliced butter and it honestly changed my life. Look at it. It's literally pre-sliced. What do you guys usually eat for breakfast though? Because I know a lot of you guys skip breakfast because a lot of you guys wake up at noon anyway. I love my oven because it can do everything. There's this function that says steam toast and it toasts your bread while keeping it moist because there's a water tank over here. It adds moisture. All right, let's check our avocado. Oh my God, is it gonna be ready? Oh, it's really hard actually. Oh, oh, that is a flaw. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I don't eat avocados because what the hell was that? That is not ready at all. And also the brown stuff won't come off because it's not ripe. <laughs> no avocado for today's breakfast. Anyway, let's make my eggs. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best scrambled eggs ever. Put a little butter. Spread your butter. Add your egg. And go like this, like from the side to the middle. And then let it run. Side to the middle, let it run. Until it's not running anymore. Side to the middle, let it run. Side to the middle, let it run. See, as you guys can see, it's not running anymore. That's when you put it all the way to the side. Flip her. Turn off the heat. That's how easy it is to make scrambled eggs. The perfect ones too. And it will keep cooking because it's on the pan. So don't worry about raw eggs. And it's just so like, you know, like, like, one of those. See? And I did put salt and pepper already. I love pretending like I got this really delicious matcha from a really local coffee shop. Yeah. I'm just gonna drink this vegan protein that I got from Amazon. Oh my god. Also, look at my fridge, you guys. I accidentally bought 36 of those. And when I got them for the first time, I've never even tried them, so I was scared I'm not gonna like them. Thank god I do like them. So what I do is literally just transfer this into this beautiful cup. Because something about drinking in a beautiful cup, it changes everything. It elevates the experience, and you know, it's all about the vibes. I firmly do believe in the fact that it's all about the vibes. That's how I keep my mental health in Shut the fuck up! That's how I keep my mental health in check. My healthy vegan matcha drink. See, you can't tell me that didn't just elevate the experience. Come on. 
But yes, I'm just gonna have a quick little breakfast, go shower, get ready, and start my day. Okay, so I did this thing called showering. Some of you Some might of you know her. But no, I was not even supposed to shower today. It's not my shower day, but I have a date tonight. <gasps> I know a lot of you guys are a little bit confused with like what I'm doing. You guys know that I've been recently single. I'm not necessarily looking for any commitment, but I do like going on dates. So I've just been doing that recently, just like, you know, going on dates with some boys. And I have to shower because, you know, these days, sometimes it leads to, you know... <laughs> anyway, it's time to work. It is currently 10 a.m. So I have to go to work now. Hi! <laughs> so this is basically my work setup. I have my laptop over here and my big computer over here. Usually I do everything on my laptop. Just in case I have to be somewhere, I can just like grab my laptop and leave. Whereas this big computer, I use it for when I need like a big screen or when I watch YouTube while I eat. So let's check my tasks for the day. Okay, I have to check my emails. So basically for work, of course, I do social media full time. So I have YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And I also have my clothing brand by Extra. So I also work on that. A lot of the things I do for social media, of course, the video making, editing, the filming, which I'm doing now. But something really important I do actually are the sponsorships. So I'm gonna look at my emails and look at all the sponsorships I have to work on today. So I'm doing a sponsored post on TikTok. And a few days ago, I submitted a TikTok. And they want me to change just a few first seconds of it. So the email said that they want something more engaging in the very first part, something more funny. So we're gonna try to do that. So they said they want something that would hook the viewer. Don't worry, I'm putting on pants. <laughs> That's not how I'm gonna hook the viewers. They said they want something that would hook the viewers in the first few seconds of the video, so I think I should wear my big red boots. That will hook the viewers. My big red boots! See, this is a perfect hook for the first part of the video. So I'm thinking I should just be like... You know, something like that. Okay, so we're gonna film that. <laughs> This is what the video looks like. I'm just gonna import that on Final Cut Pro. That's the editing software I use. The song I chose for the TikTok is... That one. If you guys wanna watch the TikTok, my TikTok is World of Extra. I'm sure that'll be up before this video. So now I just gotta have to submit it to my management and they're gonna approve it and I'm gonna post it tonight, I think. So that's basically how sponsorships work. Basically, they give you like a brief, a content to make. You film it, you submit it, and then if they wanna change something, they give it back to you and tell you what they want you to change. You change it, submit it back, and they say, okay, post it. I know it is pretty simple and I know that me calling this work will leave a bad taste on a lot of people's mouths. I don't wanna seem out of touch. This is definitely my dream life. I love doing my job so much. And I know a lot of people have to work more to get to where they want to be, but I do my own version of work and my own version of working hard, you know? Of course, that was a very simplified version of what I do, but I am currently editing this video. This video was also sponsored by a brand, so I actually have to finish it really fast. You guys know that I post every Wednesday, but I usually finish about two to three hours before my posting time, but every time there's a sponsored video, I have to finish the video a few days before so the brand can approve it before I upload the video. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next few hours. I just have to finish the video and submit it before my managers go to sleep because my managers are in LA. Oh, I've been editing non-stop for two hours. I started at 10.30, now it's 12.30. I need to rest a little bit. My eyes are a little bit sore, so I'm just gonna lie down on my couch. But one of the things I always have to do whenever I take breaks is set an alarm. Because whenever I scroll on TikTok or Reels while I'm on break, I forget how much time I've spent taking a little break. It could literally be like two hours. That's like the hard thing about like being your own boss is like you also have control over your own time. Discipline is so, so, so important because no one's gonna yell at you if you're not able to do your tasks, you are gonna suffer the consequences. 10 minute break, start now. I'm just gonna quickly scroll on TikTok, you know, maybe close my eyes for a little bit and then keep on editing. And of course, let's not forget to hydrate. We have to get to 1 p.m. Oh my god. I was literally editing and I was so focused that I forgot that I was wearing makeup and I accidentally scratched my eye and now I look like this. And I have a date in an hour. Anyway, the deadline for the sponsorship was 3 p.m. But I was really, really doing my best to edit. But I finally, finally, finally finished. I'm just about two hours late. I'm afraid my managers have already gone to sleep. But this is the longest video I've ever uploaded. It's 30 minutes long. But it's probably one of my favorite videos I've ever made as well. It's been out when you're watching this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's this video, by the way. But now 
now I have to get ready real quick. I'm gonna redo this part of my makeup. Let's see if I can fix it because this is wild. Like, this is actually crazy. But yeah, basically, I just export the video. I don't think you guys understand the amount of effort, the amount of cuts I have for all my videos. It does take a lot of effort. And this is the part I put the most work on because I genuinely do love making videos for you guys. And I will only ever release the top quality videos for my stand stands. I love you guys so much. Okay, so I think this is what I should wear. Just a little oversized moment. This literally has like a shit stain. Is that a shit stain? What is that? I don't know what it is, but this is what I'm wearing for the day. Also, this person, I just met him in Nichoma when I was out with my friends. I wonder if I should wear white instead. Is white better than blue? I think I look great. Usually before I leave for any plan, I am like all ready and I look the best. So I like taking my thumbnail pictures for that week's video before I leave for like a hangout or a date or whatever. So this is me taking the thumbnail for this video, okay? There we go, that was it. The camera I used to take my thumbnails is the Canon G7X. I love the flash quality of this. And a lot of my Instagram pictures are actually taken with this as well. And for my vlogging slash main camera is the Sony A7C. The mic is the Sony B1. And the tripod is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod or whatever the fuck it's called. And then I use Photoshop to enhance the image and then add a little bit of text. And that's it. I don't really do anything crazy with my thumbnails. I just love being cute and I make sure that it pops so you can see it in the recommended page, you know? Something really specific I do before any date though, I make sure to put away my work laptop and my big camera. Whenever I go on these dates, I never really tell them that I'm an influencer or I do YouTube. I just think it's unfair that if they find out about my social media, they can look up anything about me online while I pretty much don't know anything about them. So I always say I have my own clothing company, which is not a lie. That is one of my jobs as well. But I just keep all the things that would make me look like a YouTuber, you know? One time someone came to my apartment actually and said, you're giving very YouTuber vibes. And I'm like, <laughs> but just in case they end up coming over, I like to just keep and put away all the things that would give away the fact that I'm a YouTuber. Why am I telling you guys this as if this is part of my work day? <laughs> like going on a date? Work continues tomorrow. There are other tasks tomorrow. So let's get going on my date and I'm going to update you how my date goes. So anyway, <sighs> whoop. <laughs> Good morning, Stan Stan. The day was fun last night. We ended up drinking. And then after the date, Patrick ended up being in the area. So I met up with Patrick. And we just went to Shinjuku and just, you know, started partying it up on a Tuesday. <sighs> I need to stop. So yeah, I got home at around 3 a.m., but now it's 9.30. I'm gonna sleep some more. I do have the privilege of getting to choose what time I wake up, but Wednesdays, I have a meeting with my management. I always have my meeting in bed. I just feel really bad because I keep missing this meeting. I think I've missed this meeting two consecutive weeks because I literally couldn't wake up because I just keep sleeping in on a Wednesday somehow. I don't know why. Oh my god, my meeting is at 9.30. Like I said, my managers are in LA. This time is the best time that works for everyone. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm not even gonna pretend. It is currently 3 p.m. Did I just get ready for the day? Did I just wake up 30 minutes ago? Hell yes! After the meeting, I ended up going to sleep again, and I woke up at 2 p.m. That's my life, honestly. Today, I have a few things to do work-wise, but first and foremost, we have to eat lunch. I haven't had breakfast because obviously I woke up at 2. If you guys follow my end Instagram, which, before anything, I have to greet my Stan Stan a good morning. Good morning at 3 p.m., my loves. Toast. <laughs> also, I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, Stan, what do you guys talk about in the meeting? So, I have that meeting every single week, every Wednesday morning. I've been part of Matter Media Group since 2021. Other creators you might know who are also part of Matter Media Group are Alicia Marie, Remy Ashton, Louis Castro, and also Rosa. Who remembers Rosa? But basically what we talk about in the meeting, they tell me all the sponsorships I have to work on for the week. We also talk about new offers if there are any. We also talk about upcoming deadlines. So, you know, just all that influencer stuff. Of course, I'm going to show you guys how to make my perfect pork chop, by the way. I also eat broccoli every single time I eat pork chops. And I like using frozen broccoli because it's easier. And apparently frozen broccoli is also healthier. Because when you get fresh broccoli, the older it gets, the more vitamins it loses. But when you freeze broccoli, the vitamins and minerals are preserved. So I literally have just like bags and bags and bags of frozen broccoli in my fridge. I am out of olive oil, so we're gonna go to the supermarket later. And then I wrap her. Wrap her like Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap. Making a pork chop is honestly so, so, so 
so easy, but also so delicious and honestly healthy. You only need four things. Butter, thyme, garlic, and the pork chop. That's literally it. Usually I'd recommend you guys to use lard, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of vegetable oil with the butter so I can baste it properly. So there's enough juices, you know? A little bit of oil. And then we're gonna add a little bit of butter. And then I take my pork chop and then cook it. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. And make sure you flatten it so it doesn't curve upwards because meat tends to curl upwards when you cook it. So just flatten it a little. Oh! So prepare your garlic. Ah! And then it just peels easily. The meat is done. And then it's time to flip her. Oh. Alexa, three minutes. Now is the time to add your garlic and thyme. Put your garlic. Just take a bunch of thyme. Because it's time to make it yummy. This explodes, so be careful. That. Also, the package I just received is a PR package. That's also part of my job to just like receive PR packages and open them and post about them if I like them. And this package is actually from Calvin Klein. How exciting! So we're gonna unbox it together. But first, we gotta cook. So just tilt your frying pan like this and start basting your meat. Her one Shut up, Alexa. That is Stan's pork chop. And we have to let her rest for about five minutes. And no, we are not gonna throw the juices away. I'm Asian, of course I'm gonna eat rice with my pork chop. Are you kidding? Rice and pork chop is like the best food combination. I actually love just cutting my pork chop before I eat them. It's a nice bite-sized pieces because I'm a four-year-old. It's the perfect weather to eat at the balcony today. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me well because there's actually a lot of planes that pass by where I live. Every time there's a plane passing by, I always open this app called Flight Raider 24. There's like a plane, as you guys can see, and you just click on it, and it says Fukuoka to Haneda. And it is Japan Airlines. Like, there's even a picture of the plane and everything, and the altitude and everything. It's crazy. I love this app. While I eat, I love watching my favorite YouTubers for inspo as well. But from time to time, while I eat, I also like to plan out my future videos, the content I'm making. Especially with a video sponsored, I have to like have like a proper flow of everything so I know where to insert shut the fuck up hey so I know exactly where to insert the sponsorship anyway it's time to eat I love watching my fam I also love watching Emma Chamberlain of course I love H.J. Evelyn I love my fellow youtubers after this we're gonna go get matcha oh my god I love it yeah, with you guys oh my god and you guys are probably like oh my god Stan this is a work day for you so like what like what are you doing but where is the work I mean of course like all the little things I do that's like part of work but also like this is my main job like this is my main work of course I enjoy it so it doesn't feel like work and I'm so so blessed for that so thank you so much for giving me that dream life let's unbox my Calvin Klein PR package I've actually been wearing Calvin Klein for the longest time most of my partnerships online the PR packages I receive the sponsorships I do are very natural because they usually reach out to me usually when I post about them because I generally love their product this is a big package oh whoa this is pretty the Calvin Klein hip briefs are my favorite underwear ever so I hope these are hip briefs dear Stan we're joyful to share this gift with you in time for the new season. We stand hip brief king. Yay! They know I love hip briefs. Okay, first of all, hip briefs. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Calvin Klein. And some clothes. Hold on. Oh my god, I love this. You guys know I've been wearing button-ups a lot recently. Like oversized button-ups. <gasps> Stop. Oversized shorts. You know I've been obsessed with oversized shorts as well. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <gasps> Oh, I don't own anything like this. Wait. Thank you so much, Calvin Klein. So basically, when you receive PR packages, you're not required to post about them at all. It's like a gift from the brand, you know? So I don't have, like, the obligation to post about it. When I genuinely love the products, I love posting about it. So for example, this package, I'm, like, obsessed with it. So I would typically just post about it on my story on Instagram. They heard my obsession over hip briefs. <laughs> That's how you build relationship with brands. And then in the future, if they decide to do, like, a paid sponsorship, then they would, like, reach out to you. And then you can, like, work with them on, like, a campaign or maybe, like, a sponsorship or like an integration in a video. So yeah, that's how PRs work. Hello, I'm on my way to get matcha now, but it's literally 6, 19 p.m. I'm dressed like a little boy again. I feel like this is the usual aesthetic I have going on whenever I'm just like on my day off. There is a coffee shop by my place called The Deck Coffee and Pie. They have like a really nice outdoor seating moment with like really cute lighting. So I just want to go and try out whatever the fuck they have. But the Tonyu Henko Tonyu Henko Hot chocolate or Unfortunately, they don't have matcha, but that's fine. I think a caramel latte would be fine. 
I'd rather have soy milk because usually like Japanese cafes don't have milk alternatives. Look at that. I love this vibe. Oh my god, that's so sweet. All the caramel is down here and I think I literally just sucked on the caramel and nothing else. That is such good coffee. Wait. Also, for my work, like other things I do is like go to events in Tokyo. It's usually like high fashion brand events here in Tokyo. Like last week, I did coach event. I did like a photo shoot, and those events you just like show up, you take pictures, you post them on your Instagram, and then get paid. I also do just like you know event appearances. Not all of them are paid. Usually, if you have to post pictures on your Instagram, those ones are paid because it's like a social media advertisement, you know. So that's basically like what being an influencer is like. And of course, like it is like the dream life. I love my life so much. At the same time, it's not for everyone. It can get pretty overwhelming, but I generally love my life so much. <coughs> Damn. You guys see Redman Rock as well, right? It looks like he's literally not doing anything every day. He's just like cutting his plans and just like living his life and still getting paid. It's also because like, it's just the reality. Like a lot of the things we do pay a lot because social media is more about like advertisement. So for example, like if brands got like a huge billboard in like Shibuya or like, I don't know, Times Square in New York, that would be like millions of dollars. Online advertising through influencers is cheaper for the brands and it's more effective than these like billboards out here. You know what I'm saying? So the influencers do get paid a lot. I hope you guys know that I'm not taking it for granted and I know how blessed I am. I just want to like keep saying that over and over again. Like this is my dream job. And I love it. Okay, let's go to the supermarket because I need to do some grocery shopping. I feel like my job is basically just like living my life and like taking care of myself. Hot bitches always bring their own eco bags. <laughs> I swear, supermarket flowers, they do something to them so they never die. Why does this have like a naughty collar? I love flowers because it smells so good and they just add to the vibe of the place. And they're really good for your mental health just having flowers like this. I always just like place it next to my computer like that on the table. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I love doing these types of videos where I literally just show you guys my life. I genuinely love hanging out with you so, so much. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys again in my next video next week. Bye! Bye.